What's up ladies and gents, Tinkatu30 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome back to Monster Hunter World, the beta. Uh, we're gonna be, uh, Dan and I will be fighting off against the Baroth as he actually invites me here. So this is like searching for online ID. And Dan sent me the code, it's like a 16 digit code. But in the full game, I'm not sure if that's gonna be available, it probably is, but in the full game, we'll have social spaces known as hubs where you can see other uh, hunters walking around and you'll be able to like group up with them for quests. There'll be like quest boards and, and everything like that so it'll be more I guess immersive like in a sense instead of just going through menus. So I am using the dual blades. Dan is using right the longsword or also known as the katana. Uh, I'm testing out combos here. Uh, pressing R1 on the controller that enters demon mode. And here we are again, grabbing items from the chest, which will help us out. We got rations for stamina, and we have our med kits to regain health. But yeah, in terms of like demon mode, you actually build up the meter. It's as you can see right there. It's underneath the uh, weapon durability. So when you fill that up, you become like a more powerful like version of yourself, and you attack harder. Uh, I think you also look different. I don't I don't think I actually filled up the bar on this episode, but uh, you can see some of the combos going on here as the stance changes when you're in demon mode and that's so badass because you you pretty much change um, like the, the sword's kind of like a underhand and I was like that was that was cool. So this place is pretty cool. It's like a little marshland. You got you got some uh, pink-ish, purpley like vegetation, and we have some platforms or rock platforms that we can hop on. So if if a monster ever like shows up here, you know me, I'll try to mount it as best I can. So it's, this is the first time Dan's. Uh, tried the longsword like in a long time and like like I said earlier this is a long time since I did the blue blades so I was a little curious to see what this frog would do and you kick it and it paralyzes you so it also dies <laughs> so it just essentially ended its life and its defense mechanism was to paralyze me and that is the bear off right there First encounter this in Monster Hunter Try. I think it was brand new then, back in 2009, and it's great to see it back because it. Uh, I, I don't think it was there in Monster Hunter 4 or Monster Hunter Generations, at least from what I remember. So just like the Great Jagras, it ignores us here, and Dan decides to go ahead and start attacking it as it goes into like this little cave area like it more of an archway so now it's pissed I slung a rock at it I was I was testing out the the slinging mechanism but I wasn't sure how it worked yet and at this point I'm not sure how it still works but we'll, we'll test it out so the Baroth has a charge attack Kind of like digs his skull, kind of like a shovel, and just like goes in a straight line and, and tries to take you out that way. It also has a tail swipe, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just trying to get a good opportunity to take it out here. At least get some attacks in. I'm still not sure where to attack, but the best place at this point is through here. So I turn on demon mode, and apparently I get hit by one of those frogs, the one's cousin. And holy shit, I was wondering what was going on here, but one of the other monsters showed up. It was like that fish salamander monster, and it starts attacking the Baroth just like out of nowhere. And that was so cool. I'm not sure if it did any damage, but it, it dazed it for some... Uh, for some time. So we're just gonna keep attacking like its belly area. It's the only place I can really reach along with its like hands and and like inner thigh I, I suppose. So 
if you notice, you see the attack and then brace, and that uses up your stamina. So whenever you see brace, make sure you hold on. And once you get off enough hits, you can do like a flurry attack, and you'll see later it's like different kinds of attacks. Also, I should mention that we did not beat this quest. The beta quest times are 20 minutes long. Normally, the game on a quest would give you 50 minutes. So, towards the end, we actually start doing some damage as we start getting used to the weapons again. But unfortunately, time runs out, as you will see. But man, it's so fun to... to fight the bear off again. It's... I just gotta say, it, it's so cool seeing it on... I mean, I'm not knocking Nintendo or anything, but it, it's really good seeing it on a more powerful platform. So you can really kind of like envision like the world of Monster Hunter now. I mean, you got your ecosystems, and you have like... Envi we never really had environments that had like uh, chest high water for you to like wade in. Also, if you notice, like the Palicos, when they're in the water, they're like on little rafts and paddles. And Dan mentioned that to me, and I, I just noticed that, and I was like, that's that's like a cool detail. At this point, Dan knocked him down, so I'm here to just attack the belly and trying to get some of the head to at least a piece of the chin of, of the bear off. I feel like I'm doing good bits of damage, but a lot of my swipes are missing, so I'm not getting like the full uh, like damage I, I should be I should be getting. But it's just something more to learn, and yeah, something to get used to again using the dual blades. Gotta make use of every opportunity, like the barrel standing still, bam. Use demon mode, try to get as much damage as possible. We knocked it down, we broke some parts. Also, if if you noticed the uh the Baroth, like earlier, it had like kind of armor on itself, but it's kinda like rock hard mud. And it cause it likes to swim in uh, like muddy waters and it like rolls into it and so when it comes out it kind of hardens like armor so as we fight it chips away yeah you see right there it has it has armor currently so it went somewhere in water and it armored itself up. And I keep getting hit by that, man. It's... <laughs> it sucks. So it's creating, like... Like mud puddles. And I think it only happens if it smashes its head on sand. Because it didn't do it for, like, the harder surfaces. I really do keep getting hit by that, and I really have to stop <laughs> with its head pound. I actually got dizzy there because I got hit too many times in a row. They're currently doing... <laughs> the best we can like in the next in the next video which you'll see uh maybe today i don't know uh i use the hammer and uh you'll, you'll see how that goes it, it actually goes pretty well so as the music dies down even though it's weird how you, there's it shows the footprints even though we know where the monster is exactly 
we're getting in some damage here because the Baroth is eating from a mound. And that was a perfect opportunity to just, like, have a flurry of attacks. And this is where we actually start getting pretty good damage. But, unfortunately, it's, like, a little too late. And holy crap, I don't know how I flew off of that thing, but I kind of, like, helicoptered, like, over a mound. And kind of, like, ramped off. So we're definitely weakening it now. Like, we're getting in some really good damage. And if only we actually did this earlier, it would have been cool. I believe in the beginning we wasted about like five minutes actually like searching for herbs. We also cut off its tail if you notice. Yeah, we were like searching for herbs. Because that's kind of like a thing we always do when we're in a quest. Like if you've seen herb, we gather it because we need it for uh, preparation purposes when we're making like potions and mega potions and whatnot. So yeah, I feel if we had like, <laughs> if we didn't use that five minutes to uh, to gather stuff, even though it's kind of like a habit for us, we probably would have gotten it. We probably would have beaten this quest. But uh, yeah, quest failed, but we learned not to waste too much time. And in the next episode, I will be using the hammer. Uh, I'm not very good at the hammer, but... For some reason, I was in the zone with the hammer uh, versus the Baroth doing the quest again. Uh, Dan was using... he's going to be using the Insect Glaive, uh, which he's never really used, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of the Monster Hunter World Beta. So if y'all made it this far, thanks for watching, and as always, take care, and take it to 30 out. Alright y'all, give one everybody. And keep smiling.